Morning. Morning. How are you? Hi, everyone. So as you can see, we've changed location today. We have come up to my craft room uh, so that my husband can wander freely around the house. <laughs> um, and uh, we have our tea ready, although I might have to go and refresh our supplies. Oh, uh, we've got lots of yeah. nice new knitting stuff to talk you through uh, this morning as well. Um, so chat box is open as usual. So feel free to say hello and um, we'll just go with the flow today, I think. Yeah, definitely. So happy Saturday. Um, always lovely, isn't it? Saturday, so many people are off, but so many people have been off for a little while now anyway. Yeah. Um, so if you haven't joined us before, I'm Angela. I'm Robert. Um, and yeah, we're sharing um, tips, some knitting tips, crochet tips. Um, we've got some beautiful ideas because we might need a, new, a few ideas. Um, and I've actually brought a ball of my favourite wool. So I've actually brought a ball of Noro. So if you've never seen Noro before, I'll show you that. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So, um, yeah, happy Saturday. Um, we've got a few people who will be joining a little bit later today. And if you're watching us on the replay, um, please do just keep in touch. And what, we, what we've said is we, we may pop this onto YouTube as well because we're in the last couple of days we've just found so many people are getting onto the link from all over the world yeah. so um why not we're talking about knit we're having an atta and we're having lots and lots of copious tea so <laughs> we will not stop talking <laughs> um, i'm just going to explain the layout for today i keep looking this way because i've got the chat pad open over here uh, because we don't have the luxury of having the big massive TV behind us this time. Yeah. Um, so we will focus on camera here, but I'll be looking here at the chat pad. Yeah. So, so we've got worry. some messages coming in already. So we've got um, Dawn saying uh, hi everyone, and Becky says hi too. Oh, hi hello. Becky. Hi Dawn. Hello. Um, we have Marion saying good morning. Hi yeah, Marion. Um, I'm not sure which Marion it is because for those of you who live locally, we have about five of them. Yeah. So feel free to expand on that and let us know which Marion it is. Yeah. Um, and I can also see Janet is logged on somewhere as well. So hi, Janet. Hello. Um, and we have, um, we set this up really because we used to meet several times a week whenever we could um, around our hometown, which is Leighton Buzzard in different cafes, bars, little crafting areas. And um, with the recent environment, you know, that has changed. So we thought we'd meet you online as usual. Um, and something I've been doing as well is um, getting some beautiful things and ideas from our amazing local shop so this is one that i brought today um i know um i love this because it's got little pom-poms on the end as well and we've got some more bits here um and we'll go through them so um did you get anything finished last night no no we have got two poles that oops a daisy getting a bit windy out there and um, we have got two poles online for you um and one of them was robert is um doing the most amazing shawl and uh it was how he should continue the color so we'll go through that in a minute then add another one um another little poll on there just to see what you'd like us um to include in future so i went to our local shop the spotted sheep yesterday and i picked up these um samples and some of the the walls just to give you a little bit of inspiration and took the other ones back yesterday and i did buy myself um a couple of patterns and uh, for the lovely little rainbow cardigan that i showed you yesterday it's back in the shop because people need to see these samples for ideas and um, but i've bought all the wool for that as well so i'm going to be making that over the next couple of weeks so that would be really good um Janet says uh, hello and she's having uh, sound troubles. Hi Janet, that will be your end because nobody else is saying it's us and um, we know we can hear each other because we've had to turn the microphone down on one side. <laughs> um, so I would suggest you go into your settings and just check that your sound is fully up um, and that your uh, speakers are turned on as well. Yeah, so I'm going to get my... Um little bit of knitting out I'm finishing one of the arms so I've been doing this beautiful keep talking about this one jewel spun is it Rowan no Sirdar. Sirdar, um just lovely 
colours. Slightly muted rather than being bright. And um, yeah, that would be beautiful. And I don't know if you can see, I keep showing this, but um, just around the, there, I think you can just see that. Really, really lovely edging. Um, I changed the pattern slightly. Um, it said seed stitch and rather do, than doing one pearl and one knit for two rows, I did two pearls and two knits for two rows. And then you get that beautiful little, it's like a little heart shape. So just a little tip. Sometimes when we try something different, it really, really works. So I've um, changed seed stitch permanently now. I will never do seed stitch again. I just want little hearts everywhere. <laughs> So I'm going to start knitting. Okay, and I'm going to carry on going through the chat. So the Marion that's on is, um, she says, three Ollie's mum. Does that mean Marion dies? Guide dog's mum? Three Ollie's mum. Don't know. Um, Tracy is logged on, just having some coffee and toast. Morning, Tracy. Hello. And Please do let us know, though, Marion. Um, welcome, friend. <laughs> um and judy uh good morning uh missed us yesterday but with you now hooray hello Yay. so i'm just gonna go through we have uh deborah with us hi deborah hello um we have natalie hi natalie hi. uh pat hi pat hello um and then as we said we've got some people coming later so if you've got any questions for us please do feel free to put it in the chat um, if you want, we did something yesterday, we showed some works in progress. So if you want to continue with those, just yeah. DM me, message me, um, and we'll show them from um, my phone. Um, we had some beautiful ones did, yesterday. Yes. And um, a really unusual one from the Philo Philippines. Philippines. Is that Louis? No, I, I can't remember. Sorry, I'm really, really bad with names. Uh, but he had the most beautiful stunning work orange no red and yellow oh how oh brilliant if you weren't on yesterday because i know some of you weren't and some of you on the replay as well um, so we'll just show you this work it was just colors popped like nothing i've seen wow so that's based on a Philippines motif, and it was by a guy called Lucas, Lucas. Uh, who is doing the pattern himself. Yeah, so very creative, very, very creative. So we have um, Marion saying, yes, that's right, Ollie's mum. Oh, Tracy hello. saying, where are we today? So we're in my craft room today, Tracy, <laughs> because uh, hubby needs to be able to wander around the house. He um, got a bit grumpy yesterday because he felt like he was restricted to our bedroom even though we have lots of other rooms as well three floors yeah um <laughs> and then uh uh janet has had to go because she's got no sound on her mac sorry janet sorry um we have claire morning claire Hello. hope you're well Lovely to uh, see you. natalie is uh impressed and she's been self-isolating for a week oh i'm sorry to hear that natalie Aww. um but welcome um, and mm. we're going to publish later on when we'll be doing this again. Um, so we're going to try and do it quite a few times a week. Uh, we're going to try Tuesday evening as well. Yes. To see whether that works better for people. Yeah. Um, We've got eight o'clock on Tuesday evening. Um, just to explain how this will work, once you've registered, I will keep adding them to the series on the system. So you don't need to register again um you will get a reminder email it will confirm that you've um registered you will then get a reminder i believe 15 minutes before um i think i've turned off all of the other ones but who knows this is i might have not clicked some of the buttons um and then it, it, this system is so amazing we don't have to do anything we don't have to press record and I've set it up so it automatically sends you a lovely little um, thank you um, email at the end with the recording in there. Um, and hopefully I remember to put a few little words in there as well um, before the session. So, um, yeah, so it's really, really easy. Once you're registered, that's it. I will just keep adding them. And that's why we've got Tuesday night at eight o'clock. I will be in Leeds. You will be in the South. Um, so we will be using this. So uh, we will 
both be on two different, two different screens yeah yes. so we'll see how that works yeah um so uh more claire says her husband more is in the background and says hello hi more <laughs> um ruth morning ruth hello um we are in my craft room today um because uh grumpy hubby was uh most displeased yesterday about the fact that even though i woke him up to say we're starting get yourself out of bed he then didn't so then couldn't wander around the house oh. um so and then she asked a question can anyone join in is there a limit on numbers no no limit on numbers as many people can come as they want to and just to let you know there is sort of a limit of a hundred then a few hundred then it goes into the thousands on this system so if we find that we're getting near to that number don't worry i'll, I'll just up up it i use this for other things for my business so it's fine i'll just i'll just up it but i really 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 like this system and i know not many people use it if you want to know how to use it get in touch but um yeah i really like it so i um yesterday after our session yesterday we said oh should we should we have a look at a few different things a few different ideas and i know that um robert's been trying to do amigurami for a little while so i picked this little gorgeous idea up so robert's on his phone just responding to people so i don't know if anyone's tried amigurami but we're saying at the moment over the next few weeks few months um you know it's a really good time to try a new skill and this little baby is just lovely um i saw it in the shop yesterday and i thought i've got to show you so this was from the spotted sheep they've got everything in there that you need and we will go through the changes that they're making for you after this but I just love that little lion. I got halfway through an Amigurami figure uh, when we went to Sheringham. And I think um, Robert's finished his and mine's still half finished. So <laughs> when we came back from Sheringham, you must have rem remembered to do yours. But if you want that, uh, most Amigurami is in cotton. But I know when we did our course, we used um, normal DK um and yeah yeah and all you need to do is to be able to do a double crochet is that right with amigurami and increases and decreases yeah and um, so if if that's something that you want to get to know i'm sure that between us we could rustle off rustle up a little course if we needed to do something but yeah or double crochets and increasing and decreasing and you can create that beautiful little thing and a tiny little um balls of wool that you buy uh but yeah i love that so we'll leave him in the background uh, so we've had a lady join us called sue hi sue Hello. let us know where you're from um and um uh, janet i have just sent you a message through facebook messenger um so hopefully that will help you with the uh, tech issues you're currently having yeah um tracy says she would love to learn it it's actually on her bucket list for this year to learn let's do it then we'll, we'll set something up absolutely yeah, don't worry we'll, we'll we'll set something up a simple pattern do you want to go through the simple pattern because you finished yours um i would do if i can remember it that was oh no no I... six years ago was it six years ago no five years ago oh we we had um we go through this is tweedle and... tweedle is that that's, that's his name oh he's an elephant I just called him Tweedle. Oh, so um, this is your first go ever? My only go. <laughs> <laughs> in my, uh, you you can't really see it, but uh, in that wardrobe there, that lovely triple wardrobe, <laughs> it's full of stash and um, there's lots of amigurami in there waiting to be done. I think, do you know what? I remember buying little amigurami kits. I didn't even know what they were. But I bought one for both of us, didn't I, years you ago? Did, yeah. And um, it was Katia. I think they just arrived in the UK. Or maybe I bought them in Bel. I might have even bought them in Belgium because I've never seen them here. Had no idea what they were for, but I just wanted these beautiful little. I think there were eight or ten balls, different coloured balls in a yeah. pack. Stash grows, doesn't it? But yeah, we did this little course, and that's what um was created. Mine's purple, mine's half finished. There's no stuffing in mine, stuffing still in the bag. But um, yeah, we'll put them together because they're really nice. 
Morning, Jackie. She's just joined. Hello. She's also watching Saturday Kitchen, so it'd be interesting to see who's more entertaining, Saturday Kitchen or us. I don't know. It depends suspect, what they're cooking. Yeah, and they was they, he was on the one show last night, and apparently they've had to do change it because of the coronavirus. So oh. instead of doing food heaven or food hell, they're just doing heaven, and they're doing two recipes from the heaven ingredients. Um, and I don't know how many other guest chefs they've got, but social distancing and all that stuff. They could have people in different um, in their homes, couldn't they? Using this, just bouncing in. So, but never mind, never mind. Um, uh, we have uh, just getting another um, slurp of tea. Oh, apparently, Sassy Kitchen have got two guest chefs. Hmm. Two guest chefs. Okay. So, and I hope they pay nice tribute to uh, Michelle Rue, who passed away during the week. Yeah, yeah, absolutely amazing um, guy. When you look at what he did, his family, how they came here with a very, very different offering to what normal restaurants were all those years ago. But yeah, Michelle Rue, his. Um, yeah, incredible guy. <laughs> Tracy says, I'm watching the other channel, James Martin. It's hard to multitask watching YouTube TV and trying to knit. <laughs> I wonder why you're looking at James Martin. So you've got two people from Leeds. You've got me from Leeds and you've got James Martin from Leeds. Who's going to win? <laughs> uh, right, so I'm just going to go through some other people that have just joined. So we have... Who do we have? We have... Linda Phillips. Hi, Linda. Hi. Uh, we have Ruth. Hi, Ruth. Just checking if I should be increasing or decreasing at the moment, but no, it's a couple of rows away yet. Um, um, Tracy says James Martin has got Marty Pello. Uh, mm, James Martin and Marty Pello. Mm. No, I don't. Uh, um, wasn't one of my heroes from when I was younger. Mm. Mm. Um, uh, Janet, I, I, I can't help you find the message. I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, uh, the only thing I can suggest is that maybe we pick up a chat later yeah. um, and see if I can help you through the tech issues. Yeah. Um, or alternatively try logging on through a phone or a tablet and see whether that works instead. Yes, sometimes switching to a different system. Yeah. Um, sometimes um, you just have, it, it's just the setting that you have to allow um, the microphone for apps. This isn't a normal app. Um, it's just something on a web browser, but sometimes it, you know, it doesn't work. But yeah, try your phone. If you've got a smartphone, it might work on there. Should I get some knitting out? I, I would if I was you, yeah. because we had a poll about your knitting as well. Oh, can I just say as well, I had a um, a phone call from a very, 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 very dear friend who was rather alarmed because he found it so relaxing watching his knitting and hearing that he fell asleep and he didn't know if we could see him. Just for your um, assurance, we can't see you, okay? So you can be in your PJs, you can just chill out um but we would happily have you come onto the show and then you'd be on uh, we'd just invite you in and we'd set everything up so just let us know if you want to um come on and share some of your stuff as well uh, but no we can't see you we can't hear you you can do what you want so you're nearly at the end of your color yeah so for those of you that haven't seen it this is my lovely um Sardar colour wheel rainbow colour and the poll at the moment is um because I'm going to do a second cake as well is do I repeat the colours or do I reverse the colours so do answer the poll or let us know in the chat what you think we should do but I am down to the last colour so I reckon I've got about five rows left and then I need to make a decision mm. Yeah, we asked this yesterday, and it did seem to go all one way, didn't it? it did. But we did say that we put the poll on, and we never used the poll box either, so we thought it'd be quite good to do that. Um, so let us know if you've got the poll that you're able to do, or if we need to do something online. 
<laughs> so Linda's saying she would reverse it. Mm-hmm. That seemed to be the consensus yesterday, wasn't it? Was to reverse it. Was. It, uh, it was. Um, so Claire is patchworking this morning as it's International Quarters Day. Oh, wow. Mm. Claire, send us a picture. Let us know what you're doing and I'll show everybody else. Yeah, Claire does some amazing um, craft work and Mort mm. does as well. Mort, Mort's extremely crafty um and just intricate paintings on is it the um i can't remember what it is i'm sure you'll remind us claire um but yeah very 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 crafty um couple they're very good and linda's quilting as well oh fabulous tracy says to uh repeat that's interesting Mm. um and claire says it's war game figures that he's doing war game figures yes so um, he does those. He's very, very good. And I didn't realise until um, the Knit and Natter, um, was it a week ago? Oh, yes, it was It was last week because we went out for lunch afterwards and Claire was telling us that Mort's actually been published. He's got books out, so he's so well known um, in that world. So, uh, yeah, um, I know you're famous, um, Mort. And you're famous on this now as well because we mentioned you here. So. <laughs> Oh, Pat says she's knitting today. Oh, lovely. Pat, do send, do send pictures so we can show everybody else. Deborah's knitting as well. She's doing a sock. Um, we had uh, we've had quite a few discussions around socks this week, haven't we? Whether they're better in the round or whether they're better on two needles and then sew them up afterwards. Yeah. Um, I mean, some of the designs are just so intricate, but I think I need at some point to do my first sock um I do love socks that are hand knitted but I've only ever um had one pair of hand knitted socks and that's where Katie knitted them for me oh yeah <laughs> so they're beautiful um yeah Marion says I've seen some of Claire's quilting I must say it's amazing Sally also does amazing sewing I'm knitting a mitre blanket yeah um some of Sally's work where did we see some of Sally's work uh, she's made a lovely cushion for sharing them, didn't she? Yeah. Let me see if I can find a picture. Yeah. We uh, For people who don't know us that well, um, Sheringham is a place that we go for our annual retreat every year. There's about 35 to 40 of us go there. Um, and we've been going there, I think, for about six years. Mm-hmm. Um, and every year, uh, the place that we stay, we um, make something for them. And last year, they, they said, oh, some cushions would be nice because they've just refurbed um, where we stay. The, honestly, the designs were so different and Sally's needlework was just... So there is the picture of all of the cushions. And then Sally did two. So she did the one that's laying down of the world and then she did the one in the middle of the beach scene and that's all hand sewn absolutely stunning mm. and they were so pleased with them weren't they um right so janet says she can hear us now Hooray! Yeah! uh ruth i've just finished my second pair tried two at a time but couldn't get on with it see i've seen people do that knit two socks at a time yeah i don't i can't I suppose if you can do fair isle yeah. or intarsia, you're used to managing lots of threads. So maybe mm. that's a handy trick for knitting to put a time. But yeah, you see, I was I've I've got a cardigan that I I knitted, and um, some people remember this. I, I sort of rattle. You know what it's like when you get to the end. You think I've just got to get it finished, put it all together, and when I put it on, <laughs> the two bits of scoops around the neck won't level. So I thought, right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unpick it down to um, the arm and then knit both sides back up at the same time so I don't make the same mistakes. I've got exactly the same rows. Um, But just the thought of having two sets of needles at a time or trying to knit two fronts, even if it's on, I I always use the long needles myself because I've been, I I think this is more. um, Creature of habit. Yeah. Um, I always put it under my arm. Um, 
so I'm not sure how I will, but I am going to try doing, that's the only way I'm going to be able to make sure this beautiful cardigan is finished and I can wear it. So I just need to take it back slightly. So if I can do that, I think I can do two socks at a time, but I've never tried it yet. Um, hmm. So uh, Janet says she's knitting another cardigan for herself. That's fine. Um, please send us pictures yeah. through Facebook or Messenger or WhatsApp. Um, and Claire says she would like to send some pictures. Claire's probably easier if you direct message me um, and I can show them from there. Uh, Evelyn says, good morning. Hi, Evelyn. Um, Evelyn is the lady who said, when I went into the library, um, she said, oh, it's a shame that we can't get together online. And I said, mm, OK, I'll set it up. So that's how this uh, was created. So thank you, Evelyn, for the idea. Janet says she always knits two sleeves or two fronts together on the same needle. Uh, See, the only way I could think I could do that is if I was good at the, is it steaking where you <laughs> cut it? Yeah. Um, well, you just need two balls of wool. So as long as you have two different balls, it, it works. Right. Because you if you've got one to there and one to there, then the ball of wool for there remains with that you've just got to remember not to continue knitting so um i think that's how most people knit too is that right janet that you have two balls of wool and just keep them separate but on the same needle i think it is um evelyn says thank you it's been great having this <laughs> you're welcome evelyn Yay! and uh, the bit that you missed at the beginning is um we will continue doing it for as long as we can as and when we when we can mm. um if you are all already signed up which everybody who's logged on today is um you'll get the notification of when the next one will be um the next one that we're planning to do at the moment is tuesday evening um at eight o'clock um and that will be in two different locations i shall be here in my craft room and angela's going to be in leeds with her parents mm. um we may decide on monday to do an ad hoc one um but you do get emails to tell you when they're going to be um and we won't just do it with an hour's notice we'll obviously the yeah. a's at some point during the day and decide yeah. if we're doing it yeah but uh we're not doing it tomorrow for a couple of reasons one angela's driving to leeds um so can't do it in the car uh two uh it's mother's day um so we figured that those of you who are mums would probably want to spend the time with your children or not as the case may be um and thirdly it's my anniversary so don't particularly want a divorce, so um, I don't know when's your yeah, anniversary tomorrow. Yeah, I always think it's later in the year. <laughs> oh no, um, I forgot. Don't worry. Uh, Janet says no, no children but eight grandchildren. <gasps> wow. wow, that's that's quite a lot. To, yeah, Janet, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Claire. <laughs> And if you just start laughing, it's because um, there's a comment. But because I can't see the comments from here, it's probably better. We're probably explaining them a little bit more, aren't yeah. we? Um, yes. So Marion is asking, how many years is it now? So this is a bit of a milestone. Um, I met Gary six weeks before my 21st birthday, um, and I will be 42 this year. So this will be half of my life that I've been with him. I know it's quite... Uh, amazing thing to think about uh, uh so yes so 21 years we've been together we got married in 2000 civil partnered in 2006 so that was oh my God, 14 years ago and then converted in 2015 so five years ago i always remember well because i knew you then mm. like when it was converted so that was the Big thing. Oh, 20, 21 years. 21 years. 21 yeah. years. Wow, that's fantastic. Um, oh. You got a little heart. I have. Thank you, you got a heart. Thank you, Tracy. And actually, we, we need to say, Dawn, thank you ever so much for hosting. 
Um, Don used to host some af crafty afternoon teas, and with the current situation, it should have been today, shouldn't it? Um, Was it really? Yes, it came up on my little Facebook Messenger um, reminder. So um, thank you for hosting all of those um, times in the past, and I'm sure it will happen again in the future at some point. But yeah, it's a uh, it, it's lovely just having a community, whether it's online, whether it's um, people that you're near um because we just chat don't we and uh we really miss that when we don't miss when we don't meet up with people just chatting as friends so um yeah so thank you for everything that you did and the lovely cakes and say hi to Maisie and the cat as well uh, I think I've mentioned them again before so shall we show some of the uh yep I think I'm gonna go and put the kettle on are you yeah so you carry on right, okay um, if you were on yesterday's, I showed you a beautiful little cardigan, um, and it was like, a, I'm sorry, a multicoloured um, cardigan uh, for my little niece. And last time I went to see her, I said, "What do you, what colour do you want for Christmas?" Um, and she said, uh, "Her favourite colours are red and green." She said, "No, I want a rainbow one." Um, and it's got to have a rat on it, and it's got to have um, a giraffe on it, and a lion and a tiger. So. I walked into our local shop, the Spotted Sheep, and they had this beautiful little thing in there. So I, I picked the colours there, um, which are these colours. Now, this isn't the cardigan, but I thought you'd love to see this. So this is a one ball project. And I just look at this with the pom poms on the ends. I just love the colours. Uh, this is what I term true rainbow colours um really really soft and there's a free pattern with the yarn and it needs one batik swirl um so it's a really easy knitted wrap so um i'll go through some of the colors and this is to give you ideas while we're off but as we um keep saying please 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 go to um if you want yarn go to your local yarn shop and we're going to explain what's happening in our local yarn shop soon as well and um, just to try and protect people even more um, because most of the online places have got backlogs in terms of order delivery so if it was normally five days or three days it slipped from then and if for any reason people can't go to work anymore um, as may happen or if more and more of their staff have to self-isolate you could find that that stretches to two or three weeks before it's sent out. So we're just trying to help you um, as if our stashes aren't big enough. Uh, but I just want to show you some of the colours. So this beautiful, I'll just pop that around so you can see some of those colours there. So that's that colour, which I just think is beautiful. This is my favourite colour. Um, but that is my favourite green as well. So that's why I absolutely love this. So Batik Swirl, and it's this, this is 3736, and it's called Meadow. So I absolutely love that. I'll just leave, try and leave that. Can you see that? Yeah. And then, I know you all love purple, because it, and I, I know that Jackie loves purple. That's another story. Again, asked us about these stories. What happened with the purple ball of wool? in Sheringham. So this is a lovely purple, but this is a much cooler type of purple. So this is Purple Mist 3730, and that's um, greys, lilacs, but very muted colours. So that's gorgeous. Now see, I've got, I've got a lovely cardigan there as well. Then I picked up this colour, so you can see greens, pinks, purples, and there's other, there's they're really quite popping colours. This is called Stargazer three seven three one. I think it's about ten different colours, but I just picked up the ones um, that I could really carry. <laughs> um, and then the last one, this one, I thought this was really quite interesting. So there's reds, there's brown. It's a greyish brown, and then this is gold turning to a little bit of a, a golden orange. So again, those are really interesting colours. And this is 3741 Winter Wonderland. Um, and 
some of us will be starting our Christmas presents. That's what I'm doing with my little niece. What does what cardigan does she want for Christmas? Um, to make sure I'm not furiously trying to finish them. So those are four ideas for you. This wrap is lovely. I will just so you can wear it that way or at the back. And I think I might have to buy another of these actually um and another one of these so i can buy a, so i can make this for myself so i'm going to get that meadow color was it meadow yeah meadow because i love that color um for me and then you know my niece can be twins she always says actually we're twins because we've got the same color hair so she goes like this and shows her puts her hair at the side of mine whenever we meet up because uh, she thinks we've got the same hair Little does she know. <laughs> right, okay, so that's the first one, which is beautiful. I'm just going to leave that there so you can see that. Oh, thank you ever so much. I will move these to the side there just in case anyone's got any questions about them so they're to hand for me. Thank you very much, Robert. Naughty supplies. Ah. <sighs> So I know you've just done that, but we'll catch up and see if there's any notes. And I thought we could just explain what's happening at the spot sheet. Okay. So um, Vaughan says uh, she had a silver wedding last year. <gasps> um, Congratulations. And uh, yes, she says she'll definitely go back to the crafty afternoon tea once this madness is over. Mm. Janet says I miss the show and tell part of our meetings. I think a lot of people do. Mm. Uh, thank you, Jackie. Evelyn, um, no, I've not heard from Colette today. Um, it might be she's busy doing library stuff because um, I know um, something happened very late last night. Um, Jackie says, beautiful shawl and modelled beautifully. Aww, Purple, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, Marion says, what did you undo with it, Jackie? Not quite sure what that's about. Undo. Um, Dawn says, I did a snood in the purple batik swell. It's gorgeous. Ah. Claire says, I did a shawl in the batik swell. Lovely shades of blue and green. Mm. They've got some fantastic colours and they just pop so much, but blend. Um, because sometimes you have very rigid um, colours, block colours, but there's the little flecks of cream and white in there. And that's Ooh. the picture of Dawn's. That's gorgeous. That is. That's beautiful. Mm. I think it I... looks like trebles in the round or doubles in the round. Mm. And it's folded over on itself as well, so it looks lovely. Wow. That is beautiful. More picks coming through. Claire's just sent a picture of um, wow. the show that she did when colours reverse. So. I think that's ah. that's lovely. That is gorgeous. Yeah. Beautiful. We've got some they're such talented people. Mm. And you know what? Even the simplest scarf is fantastic. That's beautiful. Uh right, so um Never dawn is the answer to your question. What was the question? <laughs> I'll be printing it. Oh. Uh, and Janet says it amazes me how talented people are. Yes, mm. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this is another idea. Now we're coming into summer, aren't we? So um this is a cotton that I um that sort of caught my eye. Um and sometimes we don't want something too deep. So this is something that you can wrap around several times. Oops, no, wrong way. So again, lovely, lovely colours. And there's two shades in this one. Um, Katia Bahamas. I haven't actually used this before, um, but I'm sure somebody on, on here will have done. And those are the colours. So you can see oranges and, and they're almost pinky reds rather than being bright reds that they're, they're quite pinky um but when you look at this looks quite orangey doesn't yeah. it yeah mm. um and with this one it's blue 
there's like a, a, a muted lime green and lots of creams in there so um i i would i would imagine you're going to see more blue but who knows it could be more green you never quite know until no. you knit them up but these are one ball patterns um and i always think it's nice to have a few one ball patterns that you always think you're never going to do but then when you have lots of time and you can't go out to the restaurants etc because there are none open at the moment they're really good to do and this is 100 percent cotton it's called palmer's wrap and it's a one ball knit so that is a knit not a crochet and if you look at the like the detail in that really really lovely and that's something that I like with, um, you know, when getting things from um, your local um, places and ours, the spot cheap, they're, they're really good at doing the one ball patterns. Yeah. So um, it's because some of them aren't cheap, are they? Um, but they're really creative with them. So, oh, that was another one, wasn't it? Got two more, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, I'll show. Yeah, I'll show this first. Now, these beautiful 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 colors so much blue in them um that really does shine and this is you can tell yesterday when i went in i was really inspired by the the um the wraps that aren't quite as deep and this one is huge whoops And because it looks like a pico edge and it is just so thick this wool it is stunning and you can see the detail here i think pom-poms feature quite a lot so i think this would be quite easy for christmas presents mm -hmm. um did you say the c word what oh. yeah i think i've said it twice it's march i know That's what, because if we don't start planning it now, <laughs> I, yeah, I said it when you were outside of the room. Oh, did you? Okay. Because the cardigan I'm doing is the Christmas present. Oh. But uh, we put too much pressure on ourselves. We get to summer, don't we? And then we think, oh, we'll start our Christmas things first of all. Um, and we never do. Then we never make anything for ourselves for Christmas. So, um, yeah, I have said the C word. So that is twisted paint and it's a sideways scarf and again it's free pattern um and this this brown i think the pattern's free depending on where you buy it from oh it's free from the spotted sheet it's one pattern. of jackets sorry yeah i'm talking as if we all live in leighton buzzard um but just looking at the colors on that can you see how that would pick up beautifully with brown with jeans, this would be amazing. There's orange in there, which is more of a corally orange. And um, there's teal, blue, beautiful colours. I really, really like that because that's going to look so different depending on what you team it up with. And then another one. Janet Sorry. saying she doesn't want the C word until December. I completely agree, Janet. <laughs> I'm thinking of putting my Christmas lights back up outside the house. Oh, my cousin's done that. Apparently, it's um, a sign of... Um, Faith? No, a sign of we're okay inside to put the lights back up. Oh, is it? But she wanted to know how she put it up without her kids knowing. So I said, <laughs> I'll just say it's Easter or it's a... Explain, because they would want presents if they put Christmas lights back up. Um, no, that was it. She want, that People have been putting the lights back up as a sign of joy. And I said to her, well, don't tell them it's for Christmas. Tell them it because they want presents. Tell them it's um, for Easter or yeah. to let everybody know outside that you're OK in the house mm. um, as they're walking past. And she said, oh, what a lovely idea. Um, yeah. So uh, <laughs> Janet says we'll have crosses on the doors like we did during the plague. No, I think lights is much better. <laughs> yeah, I, I just thought, do you know what? Because they're away for a month, for 11 months a year, we should use them more. Mm. The ones that we put in the, so anyway, back to uh, away from a certain time of the year. And let's be in the now, we're in March, aren't we? So th this is um, a, a type of 
yarn that again I fell in love with. But Dawn, yes, please. What's she asking? Oh, what's my favourite thing to do? I don't know. Big, lovely, knotty ball of wool to unwind and tangle. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, Dawn. Anytime you want, just drop it around, leave it on the door handle, and then, yes, I'll do it for you. Can you explain, please? I, I love unpicking balls of wool and knots and hand-winding hanks for people. Even uh, yesterday, yesterday or the day before, you get got rid of a knot. I'd have just pulled it. I'd have cut it, started again, put a little knot in it, but no, um, having Robert around is fantastic. So... Um, <laughs> <laughs> that caused a lot of fun. Right, let's go back to the Christmas lights. Claire says a lot of people apparently put the lights up simply because they're sparkly and cheerful. I think it's a lovely idea. Generally, the lights are one of my favourite things about December. I agree. I love lights, uh, and I'm not anti the idea at all. I think if people want to do it, absolutely they should do it, but maybe just stick to lights, not Christmas figurines. Oh, no, I only meant lights. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Claire says I'm absolutely bonkers because I love unpicking um uh janet says you're a star dawn says it's driving me mad janet can you just repeat that last thing for me robert do you iron as well yes i do but only for me and my husband so no <laughs> sorry <laughs> oh dear it's dawn answered again <laughs> yeah she said that the ball of all's driving her bonkers so drop it around dawn i really really don't mind yeah <laughs> i will be home all day and all weekend and yeah. all week I've never known anyone, um, you know, Robert, this is a, an absolute mess. Yes, give it here. And what I find is with some of the cakes, unless I, I have to stick them in a, if I put them in a plastic carry bag, it's fine. The ball stays okay. But if it's in my bag, suddenly half of it will fall off and I just haven't got the patience. So it just ends up in a knot and I will cut that bit off and just chuck, chuck it on the fire. So thankfully I know Robert, so I don't burn my wool. Do you remember the bright pink stuff that Charlotte gave me to undo? <gasps> I was picking fluff up from that for months. So I've got a hair on me. <laughs> yeah. I hadn't realised just how fibrous it was, <laughs> and it was going all over the place. <laughs> on my dining room table, I had this layer of pink stuff. Um, oh. And for months afterwards, when we were sweeping up, you could tell that there were still bits of it around because it would be in the hoover. Yeah, loads and loads and loads. Yeah, you lo love that stuff. I, I, I don't. I don't have the patience for that. It's just new ball, please. <laughs> I'll just buy a new ball and chuck that <laughs> on there. <laughs> oh. uh, I've just realised the disadvantage of being in here. What? No cats. Oh no. They're not allowed in. Oh, sorry. Tophie and Bex are downstairs. You yeah, won't see them today. No. That's to put with these. These beautiful little figures at the back. And all my Disney bears and Edgar and you... Lego. And did you make that Harry little stuff. Um, caution? I did, yes. It was a present from a friend. Oh. And it's the um, stick the jewels on. Gorgeous. Yes, I didn't make this one. This was present. Oh, lovely. So anyway, back to the cardigan, uh, because some of us might want things for um, summer. And this studio linen is um, up there with Noro. Absolutely love it. The drape that this will give you, it's quite a weighty yarn and it just falls perfectly so um it's a little bit more expensive um it's an investment piece um it is absolutely an investment piece but um we were lucky enough to meet up with erica knight she came to the spotted sheep and while she was there i bought lots of her wool i bought this um wool in a peacock blue it's like a dark blue color it's really beautiful um, but I do love this. So I think Vi from the shop knitted this up beautiful for summer. And there's loads of colours. I didn't bring all the colours. I just bought a selection for you. Um, so it's a lovely, this is a chocolate brown. Oh no, that's oh. called velvet. Yeah, it's the colour, sorry. That's velvet. 
then we've got well it says velvet that is 416 this is oh pajama and that's 409 this is a lovely um like a top color that's called flutter so that is really really lovely um something i'm always really impressed with the company as you can tell i wear a lot of black um and they do black in studio linen so i am i i've seen something that i want to do in this black and this is <laughs> kumo um and that is 411 and something that i love about these shades whilst they're all a bit of blanket shade the sheen that you get from them in the light is out of this world and then this one it's a it's in between like um, a salmony colour and a blush, isn't it? Mm. It's not pink pink. It's more of a, a blush type pink. And it's called Covert or, yeah, Covert 407. So those are just some of the colours. I don't know what this one is, actually. Um, oh, Sundowner. Um, yeah, by Erica Knight. Um, she does some really lovely patterns some of them are quite different i know there was a huge one with a great knot in the front um like an oversized cardigan that she did that was in john lewis's wasn't it a couple know. of years ago yeah um i try not to go through the heavy department oh, no, I really no. have to. it's only because i got it from through um instagram from her i wasn't in there um <laughs> but yeah she did some really quite unique ones but this is really lovely and there's a long card a long jumper with a really really deep v um and that's the one that i'm going to try and do again um in black i think so those are just the um few bits of inspiration for you were you going to say something no, no. i wanted to show you um in here actually i've got if you don't know already i go to belgium all the time so i now can't go to belgium until i don't know when but when you go shopping there, this is from the local supermarket. You buy these, they're mm. like 50 cents. And then, so you don't use brown paper bags or anything. You just take several of these. Sainsbury's have started to do have them well, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, so you, you um, put the bag on the scale. You buy the bag, you yeah. put the bag on the scales, you reset it to zero. Yeah. And then you weigh what you're buying. So it's, I, I really like these, but I bought it for, um, I use it for my yarn. Why not? So... This is my beautiful Minoro. Um, and when we talk about colours, I know um, I've spoken about Noro, and I know somebody rang the shop while I was in the other day. Uh, when you can see, there's you can't, probably can't see the colours, but there's green, there's yellow, there's gold, there's brown, there's ochre, there's like a burnt rust, russet. There are so many different colours in there. So these are not cheap, but there's I, I need to go and buy two more of these because I've seen something. That I want to buy uh, that I want to make so uh it will be made at some point one year um but I do love that so I thought I was going to finish an arm last night and I didn't I got too tired and I went to bed so I need to try and finish this sleeve and then I can get on to the next one and I'll have this finished you decided what you're doing with the no i just don't think it's long enough to stop at one ball no no oh in terms of when when i start the second yeah i think i'll probably reverse it are you reversing it i think so are we able to see a pole it's gorgeous 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 so i reckon that's probably about a tape measure you need to at the moment so it needs to be definitely wider oh don't worry oh all right i know it won't be big enough mm. um right let's go uh let's go through janet says uh she's not allowed to go to the cat's home she misses her cat i completely sympathize i my two cats are quite elderly now um and we have i have said when it happens the I would like my house back um, and be able to have carpets that are nice and curtains that haven't got catsick all over them. Um, 
so we will not replace ours uh, so you have my deepest sympathies janet um and then she says she's gone for more tea okay enjoy your tea janet um if you've got any questions please do drop them in the chat um if there's anything you want to show send it through we're probably around for another 15 to 20 minutes ish mm. I've actually got a question. I've got um, mm. um I really love this yarn and they stopped selling it, so I bought I think every ball in fuchsia that they had. I left one there just in case somebody wanted one ball. Um there's two hundred meters I believe on each of them and I've been through Ravelry. And what my challenge is, is this says five mil, um, medium weight. I think it is more of a um, USA um, type wool. It's not quite thick enough for the Aran and a lot of the, what I would term double knits or light worsted weights. Um, I've started a couple of patterns. It was just a little bit too thick for that. So. I'm really struggling. I, I'd like something. Um, I want something that's quite straight, but possibly flaring out at the bottom and some form of nice collar, um, like deep collar. So if anyone's got any ideas, please just flick some ideas because I can't seem to find anything on Ravelry. Um, and uh, I, I did download something from one company that are in New York um what are they called pearl something or up is it not pearl or pearl not um anyway they had a beautiful um pattern there da bought it downloaded it and started knitting it and it just was the, the wool doesn't have the drape that you need for some of the patterns so um i'm just struggling a little bit to find a nice pattern i've got i think 13 balls if you can imagine 200 meters in each so I made with the Karen Simply Soft mm. I brought uh, with four balls. I made a granny square baby blanket, mm. and it was beautiful. I know the the definition, the stitch definition. There's just nothing like it. Mm. It's fabulous. I want to try and make something for me, and I just can't seem to find anything. I've looked at the um, who is it who has all of the patterns for Karen? Um, they're online art yarn can't remember gone through those and there isn't a, a pattern that really um gives me ideas uh so so marion is saying um pearl soho that's it pearl soho thank you marion love that company we've got some beautiful beautiful patterns but not all of them are downloadable so ruth also says pearl soho ah uh, yeah uh, Fabulous. Janet says she has a brother knitting machine which I've just taken out of the box. Any advice what to do with it first? I can't help you, Janet. I've never owned a knitting machine. I've always wanted one, but uh, <laughs> not had one. Oh, um, look at you. She also says she likes my socks. Thank you very much. How do people see your socks? Because um, I keep lifting my leg and doing. Ah, uh, right. Uh, Claire's just sent a picture of what she's done already this morning. Wow. Look at that. Love the, the marbling effect in it. Done it so quickly as well. That is gorgeous. Love that. Are there any others from yesterday that we could show again? Because we've got different people on today. Um just let me have a quick look. It's really nice to see. So them. this was Helen Nolte started a mm. top-down cardigan in Adrafil Sibrano. I'm going to show Jackie's um oh yes jumper. Yeah. There we go. So there's Jackie's jumper. And I'll zoom in on the pattern. Mm. There we go. Stunning. Yeah. Is Jackie on? 
No. Just yes. Yes, yes, she is. Yes. How long did that take you, Jackie? And Jackie has some really beautiful colours, but I think there's a bit of a theme. There's a, is the purple in that? Yes. There is purple in that. Gorgeous. So you know you went to the shop yesterday. Yeah. Did they say whether they'd sold out of the crochet long? Um, they hadn't sold out by the time I was there. So this is the new Janie Crow crochet along. Um, and Claire, I know you've not been around, but every time we talk about the crochet along, we talk about Lily Pond. Um, and this is her latest one. Uh, and the shop have a couple of um, um, kits left. Hmm. Starts at the end, the, um, the crochet along starts at the end of April. Um, but you can't buy anything online until the end of March, um, which means that plus shipping. Um, there's just a little bit of a question mark as to whether anyone will get kits if you try and order them online. So um, if you've got somewhere local to you and if you want to do that, pick up your pack. Um, and I do believe that um, Janie Cruel's got, um, I know the colour I wanted, the grey. Um, she sold out of that, but you can go to Janie Crow's and collect them from her studio. Yeah, um, yeah but one colour. The grey colour's already sold out, I think, everywhere. Um, there are lots of messages in the chat, and I will come back to them, but I'm just going to skip to Dawn, who's saying, goodbye, bye, Dawn. Bye. Enjoy mowing the grass. Uh, and she says, um, her daughter says, Leighton Buzzard is crazy at the moment, which doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, more pictures from yesterday. So this is a cushion that Brigitte did for her friend's 70th birthday and then there's the card that she did to go with it this has just come through from Linda Phillips so Claire uh, another quilter another quilter in early planning stages. I love that. Um, I particularly love that fabric, Linda. That looks quite um, effective. Sorry, there's lots of glare coming through. Let me try it. <laughs> Let's see whether that helps. There we go, less glare there so you can see it now. Mm. Right, so let's go through the chat and see what's come through. Uh, Claire says her fabric is indigo dyed. Um, Janet says it looks really good. Natalie says I'm finishing a bide shawl by Helen Stewart. Natalie, please do feel free to send a picture of your work in progress. Um, Claire says, Jackie, that's a superb jumper. Janet says, it's totally wonderful. Mm. Stunning. Um, Claire says, more went out first thing, it was busy then. You were there really early as well, weren't you, and said that it was quite busy. Yeah, because we had this um, at 10, um, I had to go to Screw Fix and pick something up, and um, I always go to the market um, and I don't normally go to the market at quarter past half past eight in the morning, but the queue was, there were three long queues um, and it was crazy, but um, yeah, it, you know, they're doing a really good job. It's great for them and it's great that people are diversifying and um, starting to buy from some of our local shops. And Evelyn says she cut her grass yesterday and gave it a double haircut, went one way then the other. Uh, she thinks she drove the neighbours mad wondering what she was doing, but it looks really good. And you lost a few calories as well, such Yay. fun. Well, Evelyn, the only thing I'm going to say is, do you remember the question from Sheringham? How many calories do you burn an hour knitting? <gasps> 80 calories an hour of, if, of continuous knitting. Oh. So I think that's the reason. Yeah. Who needs yeah. all these? fitness vlogs going around at the moment we'll just sit here knitting for hours and hours yeah um 
Natalie, you can either send them to me through Facebook or you can Facebook message me um, and I will get them that way. Yeah, we pro should probably try and set something up, shouldn't we? So um, just so people have got instructions how to do that, I can put it on the um, reminders or yeah. something like that. So we'll yeah. we'll have a think and see, um, you know, we're, we're just creating and building this on the fly so um you know i'm sh we're please just letting us know what we can do to make it easier for you um and i think maybe we should set up an email yes yeah well if specifically for it actually if, yeah if people email um just reply to any of the reminders they do come through to me um and i know i've had a few people email me and i have responded um straight away or as soon as i can but we'll set something up janet no um demio you can get which is what we use you can get for a free trial for 30 days but then you do have to pay now because angela already uses it for her business that's why we're yeah. using that um so um and then you pay by the number of people that you want to have on at one go so i think it's a hundred and then five hundred isn't it i think i think it is hundred and then a five hundred and then a thousand to be honest i will be so excited if we have to do the thousand so um yeah just keep on coming along so the more the merrier yeah but it's a really really easy system to use and i think more from your perspective that you don't have to download anything you don't have to try and find an app you just click on that green button that says join and that's why i've always well i've stuck with this system for about three years now um just because it's easier for you um did we say about the scottish hi Jake? brigitte Hello. <laughs> did you say about the spotted shape uh, no, not yet. Let's. Um, it's all right, because I, I haven't seen the email. Fine. So Janet's <laughs> asking what your business is. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I do. Um, I have one business, which is online gluten free baking and education. Um, there was going to be brownies by post as well, but I'm not I'm not launching that until later in the year. And then I also work with businesses um how to move from a high street um, bricks and mortar setup to be able to sell their services or diversify online so I've, I've got quite a few um clients that i work with at the moment doing that so yeah that's what i do uh brigitte says hello i'm back good walk and refreshing cuppa now to the important <laughs> stuff <No. laughs> how was your walk i hope you did enjoy it i hope you didn't go anywhere near town we're being told it's completely mental um and i hope you uh kept yourself uh suitably distanced from um other people apart from rod yeah you've missed lots of stuff this morning brigitte so we are in a different room as you can see uh no fur babies today um we've been through lots of different walls from the shop mm. and lots of different articles so you can watch the playback and catch up on all that um and uh maybe now is the right time to talk about the shop so yeah there for those of you that haven't um seen it it's been an email from the shop this morning to say that um unfortunately in light of uh recent announcements they have decided today will be their last full day open to the public um but what they are going to do is they're still going to be on site every day um so you can go you can knock on the door if it's closed or they're looking at having a table across the door to be able to serve at a distance mm. um and they're also looking at doing local deliveries um it's really really important um that we try and support any local yarn shop during these difficult times um I had an email from oxford yarn store yesterday to say that um they are restricting the numbers that they're letting in mm. but they're not closing just yet uh, and they will continue to do deliveries as long as it, as long as it is yeah. financially viable. They do free delivery to local Oxford area, but then they'll post out as well. Mm. Um, and similarly to the spotted sheep, they do national deliveries. It's quite happy to go to the post office people, um, and they're looking at how they can do local free local delivery as well. Mm. Um, so please, please, please do support your local yarn shop before you go to one of the big chains. 
um, the big chains get lots and lots of business from other people. Mm. Um, so, um, and I know the government announced all this stuff yesterday, but until the finer details come out, I, I'm sure it looks fantastic on the surface. But being in retail myself, I know it's not as easy as it, they're making it out to be. Deferring VAT, you've still got to pay at some point. Um, asking for wages to be paid, you've still got to pay it back at some point. Um, off asking for all these loans. Uh, the only thing that they have said that is any good is the fact that nobody's going to have to pay business rates this year. Um, but but again, that, it depends on the turnover of the business as to how much that actually is worth to you. Yeah, and I know my friend who's got a business, he doesn't pay rates anyway because of what's already in place. So yeah. it's there, there's a lot of people that you think, ah, oh, that's great, it will benefit them. Um, but they've they've already got that break in place already. Um, so, yeah, we, we really, really, really want to um, support our local shops. And I know if I'm um, I know I'm going to the shop, they're packing things up for me and then I'm, I'm coming away. Um, and I've just realized that one of the things I was going to show you today, I've actually left in the shop. So we'll do that at some point next week. Okay. Um, but they're just packaging things up for me so I can drop what we've shown off and then pick back up. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm taking a little picture of things um, or, or trying to when I remember. And I thought what might help you is if we try and collate that in some form of little email or newsletter. So what I will do, GDPR, is I will send you if you've registered, I'll send you an email and say if you would like to receive newsletters or you know um, emails from us please subscribe so you'll have to actively sub subscribe and then between us we'll try and um, you know if, if you think which which was the um which wall do i need to do that colorful wrap um it's easier rather than trying to look through every single um webinar that we've done it's easy to just look at an email with a few little pictures on there. So just another idea of how we can try and help you. And if, if they're able to continue for a little while longer doing that, then brilliant. If you think, oh, in a, a couple of weeks time, you want something, then maybe you'll be able to get hold of it. But if you want anything now, um, pop in or ring them up. Yes, and they have said they're happy to help over the phone. Um, so Brigitte sending Zeus through some stuff of what she's doing at the moment. Uh, she says she went th the opposite direction this morning from town. So good. Um, we avoided all the chaos. So this is a birthday card that she's sending today for her grandson. Oh. So happy birthday, Hudson. Happy uh, birthday, Hudson. And uh, and then this is a. Um, birthday card that she's sending to her German cross stitch group. They have a secret birthday card that they send each year, and that's the one that she's designed this year to send. Looks lovely. That is gorgeous. I haven't checked my phone, so if anyone's messaged me, I do apologise. But um, just for anyone who wasn't on, Brigitte, you'll love this because I know you've always wanted to do Amagarami. <laughs> um, but again, that was the other one that I showed at the beginning, which was um, if you're wanting to learn how to do Amagarami, now is probably the time, isn't it? So, uh, a beautiful little lion, uh, really, really cute, and it's in the cottons. Um, the Amagarami, the, the, the tiny little balls, but I know Roberts from our course that we did or our workshop that we did at Sheringham a few years ago, uh, that's out of standard double knit. And it's just the firmness of the stitch. That's what the cotton mm. does. So if you want something that's going to be able to sit up, um, that's what the cotton's for. Um, and the, this special stuff, but you know what, you can use whatever's in your stash. So don't worry about that. But I love that pattern. And oh, actually, they've got books. There's lots of books where there's a whole farmyard that you can make. Uh, well, no, that would be a whole <laughs> jungle, wouldn't it? 
that's a jungle animal, not a farmyard animal. That's a lion. Yeah. Mm. So it wouldn't be in a farm. But they do have farmyard books as well. Have we gone quiet? Uh, sorry. Um... <laughs> First time for anything. Betty. Hi, Betty. <gasps> Betty, hello. Um, I hope you're keeping well. Um, nobody's heard from me for you. ages. Um, Claire says, uh, thank you for letting me know how to pronounce, pronounce Anna Garami. <laughs> well, that's the Yorkshire way anyway. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I love, absolutely love um, what they do. And have you seen, I don't know if anyone else is addicted to Pinterest like I am. But they do tiny, tiny, tiny little amigurumis about this big, like ladybirds. Mm. I don't know how I would. I would have to get some of those surgical glasses, you know, to to magnify. I don't know how you do it, but that must be with a um, a crochet hook that's probably half or one in size. So uh, they are tiny but beautiful. But that's that's not something that I could do. Maybe years ago when my eyes were better, but. Um, I'd love to see anyone who's done that tiny, tiny, tiny sort of work, but very effective. But, yeah. Um, if I did it, I think my ladybird would be about this big, just to make it easy. <laughs> easy on the eyes. Natalie's <laughs> um, saying, thank you so much for today. It's been great having human contact and knitting too. You're more than oh, welcome, Natalie. Uh, just sorry we won't be here for a few days now. Um, Brigitte, I feel a right idiot. It takes all my brain power to work out raglan and neck decreases in reverse for the front right. Frogged it once already, as didn't get the correct number of rows. Don't worry, Brigitte, frogging happens to all of us. Um, that's why my jumper is still in its bag because I had to frog it because the instructions didn't make a lot of sense and they still don't make a lot of sense. So I started on the back and when they kind of meet, then I'll work out how I'm doing the oh. raglan part of it. Maybe we need to try and help you then. I've, I've asked lots of people. Have you? Yeah. I've had to go back to Rowan in the end, and they have written a step-by-step. -step. I still haven't got around to reading oh, it. Right, okay. Um, I think it's just one of those things that when it leaves, when you are so looking forward to doing it, and you think you know what you're doing, and it's wrong, it then leaves us a, a bit of taste in your mouth to then have to go back and redo it. I know. I know. Um, and sometimes you you frog it and you do it again two three or four times then you get other people to try and knit it thinking you're doing something wrong but it's the way how the pattern is interpreted and i think sometimes they they may be written by somebody who was brought up with like spanish is very different to british is very different to usa and sometimes it's just one thing that they've put in there that wrecks the whole look of it and I know I had that with um, one of these. I've tried it so many times. I know when we had our knitting natter in the pub, I went there, I got somebody else to do a row. And for some reason, we end up with too many stitches at the end of the row. And I just can't fathom it. So I'm the same. I've got one of them projects. Yeah. Um, yeah. Real shame. Brigitte says she does love Amagorama cre creatures, but not <laughs> going to make any. <laughs> now, Brigitte, I, I think we should... Um, maybe gang up on you at Sheringham and put you in a room with Trisha who taught me and Angela um, and get her to do some one-to-one -one tuition for you because I'm sure once you make your first one you'll absolutely love them and you don't have to have a dinosaur in sight I promise you you can make lots and lots of other things before you make dinosaurs oh. um, Janet says uh, she knows what I mean she's just put a um, she just finished jumper she put away six years ago uh, and wow. she's going to send a picture for next time. So, wow, fabulous! Yeah, because I, I, um, I bought some cashmere for a scarf. Um, was it six years ago from Ali Pali? That blue. Yes. Yeah, and I tried to do that scarf a couple of times, and I just couldn't get the stitch right. Took it out in January this year just did exactly what the pattern asked me to do and it worked perfectly so rather than interpreting it myself and i have got a beautiful cashmere scarf finished and that's the first c present finish this year i've never done this in my life 
ever, <laughs> ever, ever. Betty says, tell me about it. Brigitte taught me how to do socks years ago, but she's forgotten. Um, I'm sure, Betty, that if you're able to get out, somebody will be able to help you yeah. uh, pick, pick that back up. Um, Janet says, you'll have to gang up on me as well. Um, I'm guessing that's with Amagrami, Janet. Um, I'm sure something can be arranged. Um, you see Trish a lot more than we do. It's in writing now. It's in writing, isn't it? So we can, we can arrange that. Yes. Yes, Janet, don't worry. We will, we'll arrange that for you. <laughs> uh, Brigitte says, it's not the dinosaurs that stop me. It's the fiddle faddle with stuffing and finishing off that I detest. Um, I kind of get the finishing off because it's, it's not easy. Um, but if you've got step-by-step um, -step instructions, which any Amagrami book does have, um, and Toft is a fantastic one because in all of her books, she she shows you um how to do the magic ring to start uh how to do a basic body how to do basic legs and arms and then she has measuring sticks for going up sizes um but then at the back of the book after she's gone through all the patterns she does show you how to sew up and best practice for stuffing um so that's probably a good one to look at um betty says she's on her 18th Thomas the Tank Engine Cardigan for a new baby in New Zealand. Wow. 18th cardigan, though, for, to uh, for Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh. I think I'd get really bored. Are you doing them differently every time, Betty, or is it exactly the same one for each of them? I really like it when you get a pattern or something that You've knitted it once, so you know the flaws and where you're likely to go wrong. And then you knit it again because people say that's wonderful. And then you get another request. So you knit it again. Um, and then you can really knit it with your eyes shut, can't mm. you? So it is nice. Uh, she says exactly the same. And snap, she likes redoing pat the same patterns again and again. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm just I'm gonna have a look in my bag to see if um, my little birthday present is in there from Georgie. Let me have a look and see if it's in here. I'm still here. Yeah, I just had a thought then. Right, I do quite a lot of things online. How to run a business online, um, how to diversify online and how to, um, something that um, I'm aware of, the talent that is in this group is unbelievable. And um, sometimes we can sort of share our patterns with people locally, but there is a real need for us to um, get things on places like Etsy, etc. And if I can show you this that I was given as my one of my birthday presents. Just look at this. This is what Georgie created. She crocheted that, so it was a little um, little face, and she's even put on the end of the tape measure a silver ball. And when you press the back, that goes up. How amazing is that? And that's a pattern that Georgie uh, created herself. She she looked at other things and, and created that. So um, I think something that would be really nice if we just take this bit of an opportunity and think about how do we share these with the wider world. There's loads of things. There's Ravelry. Um, and that's something that I think I'm going to be doing. So, um, yeah, we need to get Georgie's pattern online because I just love mm. that absolutely love it so um and like you know better you're obviously an expert at thomas the tank engine things and uh yeah so um if you've got if you are that budding person out there uh with patterns there's loads of ways that you can get your patterns done but um it would be great to see more people from our community getting them done so evelyn says so you're super quick i'm not sure what that's in relation to of what I missed while I was getting my charger. What super quick? Don't know. Evelyn, please expand. Sorry, what did I say? I, I oh, chat Betty chat. on her jumpers. Oh! <laughs> 
sorry. Yes. Um, Linda says that she loves that, so I'm guessing that's the cat with the tape measure. Yeah, it's just it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And Brigitte says Georgie's just brilliantly crazy to do that. <laughs> yes. Georgie, um, if you don't know Georgie, she does um, beautiful, uh, you may do granny squares. No, she will do icicle type um, granny squares, very intricate, etc. All one colour, so it's all in the stitch different definition rather than colour. Um, stunning. Uh, she She's very, very creative, but again, everyone is in this group. So, um, yeah, I love that. Um, I don't know how she did it, but I want the pattern. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got this yesterday as well, didn't I? I said I was going to show this. Again, popped into the shop. And there is this pattern. I'll show you the pattern on the back if you can see that. Absolutely lovely. And I thought, now there's an idea for using up stash. But you actually read it. Like, I just look at the pictures. I'd never read the instructions until I start. How many different balls do they? 18. 18 different colours. I mean, it's stunning. Um, I probably look at what I've got in my stash. But there's so many ideas out there. And I think all of us will be able to find 18 different colours in our stash and create this. So um, just have a look around. But that is that sheepies? I don't know you pronounce it is that. Sheepies. Thank you. So I'm just going to jump to Janet. Janet, bye. Thank bye. you for joining us. Thank she says, you. How long do we usually meet for? Well, today was only supposed to be an hour, but we've been an hour and a half already. Oh, no, we can't do it. <laughs> I said, That's it. I'm going at 11. I'm leaving at 11. Um, but normally it's about two ish hours. Two. Uh, so please do feel free to uh, come back again. Janet says, Can she have that pattern, please? I'm guessing she means the sheepies. Um, what, that one? Is it that one or that one? Just just message me. Just message us. We'll, we'll sort that out for you. Yeah. Don't worry. Um, and Claire's saying that um, there's a new UK-based selling site called New Monday. <gasps> yes. New Monday. Um, with much more transparent, reasonable fees than Etsy. Yes, I'd forgotten about that one. Yeah, and it's all UK-based, isn't it? Mm. Um, just for UK sellers. Um, and I, I just think, you know, Claire, you create so many things as well. So all these things, I just think it would be great to get them into pattern form. We've got enough um, resource in the group that somebody will have written umpteen patterns. Um, and yeah, and then we can share them, can't we? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for reminding us about that. That's fine. Uh, and she wants both patterns. <laughs> OK, bye, Janet. Have a lovely day. Bye. Hi, Colette. Oh, hello. People were asking about Colette, weren't they? Yeah, she's just. Where was um, Colette? Uh, she's just come in at some point. Good. Hello. Uh, and we have a lady called Sandra on as well. Hi, Sandra. Hello. Welcome. So, uh, just to reiterate, we can't see you. We can only see you when you log in. Um, and different room today. Uh, we're in my craft room, um, so we don't have the big screen in front. So I'm using a little um thing over here to keep an eye, uh, an eye on the chat um and no fur babies because they're not allowed in this room um bye linda bye. Uh, have fun cutting which is what she's off to do um and yes we'll see you tuesday um hi sandra it'd be good to know whereabouts you are uh welcome um you say it's your first time so um just so you you know who people are i'm robert and this is my lovely friend angela hello um and we have done this this is a third time yes third um and we will talk about all things knitting related craft related kind of talk about what's going on in the world at the moment um we'll show you some lovely ideas from our local yarn shop um yes. we share pictures of what everybody else is up to um so welcome and if you have any questions please feel free to ask So I still can't decide what my next project is. Right. Still can't. Got lots and lots and lots and lots of potential projects. 
Um, so I think I just need to, I, I really, really want to finish that sleeve tonight and then the other sleeve tomorrow. Oh no, I'm driving for about four, three, four hours tomorrow. So I <gasps> won't be able to, but I will when I can. Oh, I think this is my next project. Oh. I'm going to make myself, I can't decide whether to do a scarf or a cowl. But just look at those beautiful colours. Can't get used to having to do things in reverse for the camera. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm sure that will knit up lovely. That's from Toft. Yeah. What's that one called? Do you know what the colour is called? Um, yes, it is. It is. It's called Cuttlefish. Yeah. Because I have to say, I wasn't a great fan of the cuttlefish when I no. saw it. Um, everything else in Toft, I think, is lovely, but I, I, I don't think it worked as well as the plainer colours. No. Um, I think possibly part of it should have been in that cuttlefish, um, but the colours are just stunning. Yeah, so I, I didn't stunning. like it either. Um, so I am going to make a scarf or a cow with it. Mm. Um, you were allowed to pick which patterns you had. So I got Robert the Frog, um, <laughs> which I've got a lovely variegated in the cupboard that I'm going to use for that. Oh, okay. um, so yes, yeah, so I got two skeins of that to, to do something with. Yeah. Um, so Marion, yes, it came from Toft. Um, it's part one of their subscription ranges, but when they've posted out all their subscriptions, they then sell the wall separately, um, either in a pack or separately. So I bought pack and a separate one as well. To make two. Do you subscribe to it? Only if you no, I personally no, don't. No, no, no. I just bought it while we were there, but you yeah. can do. It's yeah. one of her quarterly or monthly animal subscriptions that she yeah. has. Um Sandra says she's near Worthing, currently working on a jumper, which is a first. Um also yeah. the first time doing Raglan sleeves. Um hmm. so Sandra, if you want to share a picture, please do. Um if you need advice, uh that's what we're here for. There's lots of people in the group. Um, who have done jumpers before and raglans as well. So um, do feel free to ask any questions that you have. Mm, definitely. Right. Maybe I should do more than one row of knitting today. I've done a few. I've, I've increased up to where I need to be. So I'm at 72 stitches now. So right. now I can just... So no frogging. No frogging so far today. It's... Um, as they say, as the girls at the Spot Sheep say about me, I certainly get my money's worth out of my yarn because I knit it several times. Yes. I do. I, I do, Rob. But that's just me. Hmm. Shall I do another row as well then? Oh, actually, I bought this as well. Sure, yeah. Um, oh, your famous Noro. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to show you the whole piece. Hopefully I can take one of these out, can I? This is some of the colour. Can you see the different colours in that? Like it goes green, aqua, purple, orange. russet, orange. It's just, I, I love Noro. Um, I'm not going to be able to show you any of this. And what I had to do was I had to sew together 70... If you can see, this is going to be a, a lap blanket. It's not, it, it's beautiful, pure wool. So if you can imagine, it does need, um, what do you call it? Um, when you pin it, what, when you stretch it out, what do you call it? Locking. Locking, thank you. And um, you can tell how often I do that as well. <laughs> um, so anyway, these beautiful um, triangles that you then have to put together. But when you look at the, what are you laughing at? <laughs> the amount of people that have told you what it's called. <laughs> oh, I can't see that. I, right, just that. All I can see is the screen. I can't see the comments that are over there. Robert can see them. I can't. Um, uh, Betty's going. Bye, Betty. Bye. Bye. But that's just one ball of yarn. You can see the different colours. So when this is finished, it's going to be lovely. It's um, it's an oro that they don't do anymore. But I, I love that. But if you've ever followed a Noro pattern, 
it's probably three lines in it so you have to um you have to read between the lines with them they're not detailed patterns they do um assume that you know what you're doing uh, but yeah i've got all of those to sew together and then that will be my lap blanket so it's it's sort of half finished it's the difficult bit now um crocheting it all together but i love noro have you done just one row today yeah We think next week, when Angela's back from Leeds, we're going to try and do a session back in the living room with the table out so that Angela can lay the blanket out and then she's not leaving the house until she's finished. We think. I'll be here for a week then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have a go. I think it's just getting up early enough because I always find to start a project like that, I have to get up early, nothing else to do. And I can start crocheting it all together because um, we all know it takes a few hours, um, but there will always be something that you're not happy with. So I need enough time to um, make those modifications. And uh, I have to have really nice light to start off with as well. So it has to be a sunny day and a nice day. Well, the, the light in my living room are daylight bulbs. Yeah. And I made Gary put them in so that I could have craft without having to have my light on, which he complained about. So um, once if we open the table into the middle of the room, mm, yeah. with the daylight bulbs above it, you'll be able to see nice and lovely. I would, yeah, yeah. Be, uh, yeah. Nice to finish that. Hi, Colette. We did say hello the last time, uh, well, when we realised you were logged on. Um, she said she came on, had to take a phone call, and now she's back. But oh, she's only back hello. for a while. That's fine, Colette. Um, we had only planned to do an hour today, but we're now... Nearly two hours. We're just, just going to carry on going. Chit chat. We've not got anywhere else. Well, I haven't got anywhere else to go. Uh, no, I'm going home. Um, getting ready for me um, course later. You need to pack tomorrow. Oh, I do need to pack as well for the next few days. Um, but that won't take me long. I, I sort of have the same things that I put in the in the case every time. I just need to take an an inordinate amount. Of wool with me as well so that i've got enough for my next project because i have to have choice because i think i will fill, finish that cardigan it won't be hard to sew up that one um is everyone else all right yep just got more pictures coming through oh so here is a picture from Brigitte of a blanket that she did for a bed. Looks lovely. Oh, yeah. And then another one. They're stunning. Yeah, they are. Are they um, Are they king size or double Brigitte? Uh, Sandra's asking how you send pictures. Um, Sandra, if you find me on Facebook or Messenger, do it that way. Um, we are going to send, we've realised today, and um, we're going to put some information in the future links about how you can get in contact with us and send things through because um, we want to very much share what people are up to at the moment, what they're doing. This is squeaking on things. Yeah, mine does that. I know. Yeah. It was so. Um, I don't know why it does it though. It, I, I think it's to do with the tension of the stitch that you're knitting into hmm. and the type of wool that it is. I think. Because this is acrylic. This is. Hmm. Yeah. I think that might be what it is. Yeah. So uh, there are times when I think that. Isn't this weird about the different needles that you use? Because I absolutely love zinc, and you do as well, do, don't yeah. you? Yeah, like both of us are total zinc um, converts. And th they're all coloured, they're metal, um, they're, they're lovely, and you get a really nice flow of the yarn normally. 
Um, but that's weird that both of us have said this week. <laughs> I think it's because we can hear it as well. Yeah. Um, and some people really like bamboo. Um, okay, so um, Claire's saying, uh, what's for lunch, everyone? share <laughs> and she's another zing fan as well um brigitte is saying the checkered one is 220 by 186 and the wavy one is 200 by 190 centimeters so i think that's around about a double um yeah natalie says she's going uh and thank you for today's see you tuesday bye, bye natalie bye. and marion says um she's uh it's been lovely again, but she must do some work on her cow for the Facebook page. Bye, Marianne. Yeah, Marianne's doing um, a fabulous. Yeah, she is. Is it a knit along or it's a knit along? A knit along, a cow. Yesterday we said the word cow, um, and some people um, may not be familiar with that. So it's a crochet along or a knit along. Um, and Marianne's doing a cushion cover. Cush um and it's on one side i can't remember what one side of it is but on the other side there's the little sheep um mm. and i just think it's stunning so i might actually do it because it's fair on one side i think and then normal two color knitting uh with these sheep um and i think i might just do both sides sheep colette's saying she really wants some stilton cheese but hasn't got any and Jackie's having chicken salad for lunch and she likes Chicago needles. I've never heard of them. I haven't heard of Chicago needles either. I might have to do a quick Google. Yeah, Google in. Google, Google. If there's something else that we can invest in, we will when it comes to yarn. We'll check out and see what Chicago needles are. I tell you which ones I did try and I did love the cubics, mm. um, which are now there's the carbons which are dark carbonated and that's really good for cotton linen type um that may slip off a normal metal um needle really easily so i really like the carbons but the the square ones the cubics were amazing i've got one set of those um and I do really, really, really like them. So I might have to invest in a few more. The other thing I really like about Zing is to do the 40 centimeter needles that are extra long. Um, most of them go up to, is it about, these are 40 centimeters. I think they go up to 34 centimeters normally. Um, so that's why I really like Zing because they do the extra long ones. Right, so just a correction, they're not Chicago needles, they're sheer goo. Sheer goo? Yeah. Um, I'm still struggling to find a picture of them, but Claire has just posted a link in the chat. Um, Colette says this afternoon she's sorting out phones so she can talk to her sister who's locked down in Paris. Um, let's try it. Sheep. Sheep. I now know I've got to buy a pair just to try them. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So do those lovely driftwood needles as well in the shop, don't they? I haven't tried those yet. Are they like Laker? I can't remember what they are, but no, they they're all 
like naturally sourced driftwood, so they look lovely as well. Uh, my phone's just decided it's having funny five minutes. So, oh, is it? Yeah. Well, we can have a look for the next one, can't we? We can see if we can find some lovely pictures for Tuesday. See, everybody's woken up now. They're all trying to go on the internet to say, where's my delivery order? Sandra's saying, I've got Knit Pro Symphony needles for my birthday. I, I, I used to use Knit Pro Symphonies, Sandra. Lovely needles. Absolutely beautiful. And I used to use them because my husband can't stand the noise of metal clicking needles. Um, and I do really, really like them. My disadvantage with them is because I'm quite heavy handed, they bend and break quite easily. Um, so then I went to the zings um, because I find them just really smooth and easy to use. I love things. And I really love it when you're knitting because um, fives are this lovely fuchsia colour. So when you're actually knitting fuchsia and you go out and about, they can match what show. So the reason why we're gobsmacking, Sandra has just sent a lovely photo of a project and i thought my <laughs> king size oversized blanket was big Stunning. but wow look at that that is a corner to corner crochet temperature blanket that's massive as you can see by her and her dog and it takes up the whole of her living room floor that is just amazing wow thank you for that wow we, we need to have a wall of fin oh that's what we said about yesterday was it when all this is over yeah. we're gonna have a, a little bit of an exhibition so we're going to find somewhere locally and uh we'll make sure that we've got access for people to view online as well because people are all around the world um but uh yeah we did have people from the philippines yesterday um so we just thought it'd be really great and we want to capture all of these the um images that we've had and pictures so that we can save them and just display them all i don't think i've seen anything like that before that was just that wow. is incredible well done well done wow i love that sandra says it's known as a trip hazard of many colors <laughs> the colors are just yeah i don't know what it is about orange it's a color that um apparently we should wear a lot more orange because of the way it makes you feel mm. makes you feel really if you're if you're wanting to feel happier and stuff like that so um yeah always been advised to have more orange so um yeah Sandra says she was too stubborn to undo it and start again. That's how I was with this what? blanket. What do you mean? Why? Why? Because of the size. <laughs> <laughs> Guessing. Oh, it's <laughs> stunning as it is. Yeah. I've never done a temperature blanket, but I know there's a lot of people doing them now, aren't there? Colette, we're going to do some evenings next week, so um, you should be able to join us in, uh, in at some point next week. Right. And there's replays so you can always watch it and message in advance to say hello to people and talk to us um claire says it makes me feel like a, a space hopper i'm guessing she means sandra's blanket yeah because of how big it was yeah hmm. we're doing tuesday night colette eight o'clock got a bit of knitting done today oh sorry wearing orange makes you feel like a space opera oh. <laughs> okay <laughs> sorry didn't get that oh yeah i remember them from the good old days when I was little. yeah i feel as if i've got no chat whatsoever Maybe I'll put my glasses on next time so I can see all the way up there. 
extra edition <laughs> back. Oh. Well, when we do it on Tuesday, you'll be on your own laptop, won't you? So oh, you'll be able yeah, to see yeah. it. Yeah, I'll be able to see, yeah. Yeah, but you yeah. just won't get as much knitting done. No, no, I won't. But who knows? I might get lots done. Yeah. So, um, oh, I have to measure this soon. Still not long enough for the sleeve, but getting there. So, have you decided what you're doing? Because there were two polls, and I don't know if people did the poll. Results. Uh, do, 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 do. So, uh, one ball project seems to be the main one for what would you like to see more of? Fab. We'll get more of that then. Yeah. Oh, and controversially, they're saying the. the the consensus at the moment is repeat the colour, not reverse the colour. Yesterday it was reverse. reverse. Mm. Not sure what to do about that now. Mm. Evelyn says she's just been outside, it's freezing, back to knitting to warm up. <laughs> Don't blame you. Stay inside. Evelyn, um, has your boiler been repaired? Because I think it was due to be repaired early this week, so hopefully it has. So that you have heat. So um, yeah, Evelyn's boiler broke. Oh no! Yeah, and um, she was days without. And and one day she said she went outside, and I think was doing gardening because it was warmer outside than it was inside. Um, but then last time I saw her, she was. They were due out that day or the following day. So hopefully that's all repaired now for you. So um, yeah. Colette says she's um, off and uh, see us all another time. Stay safe and stay distant. Bye. Bye, Colette. Bye. Oh. So I'm going to measure my sleeve now. Thirty-seven inches. Sorry, thirty-seven centimeters. So I need to do quite a bit more before that's ready. Can't quite decide whether to do them a couple of centimeters longer or not. I'll decide later. Evelyn says yes. Her boiler is fixed. British guests were there for two solid days. <gasps> wow. Well, at least it's fixed for you, though, isn't it? Um, so I think we're going to get another cold spell at some point. So that's um, that's going to happen again. And at least you're going to be nice and warm. Nothing worse. Well, it's all right when you've got a... Actually, I think, Evelyn, you said you've got um, a um, multi-fuel stove. Um, so at least when you've got that, you can rely on that like we can. But I know we've had that a few times as well. So fingers crossed and touch wood that nobody else's boilers break down. So is that a natural I think so. Close? So I think we're going to say goodbye now, folks. So have a lovely weekend. Um, stay safe, keep warm. And if you need anything and you're local, then just drop one of us a message. Um, Angela, have a lovely trip up to Leeds tomorrow. Thank you ever so much. And um, you have a lovely weekend too. Thank you. And uh, thank next, you for hosting. That's all right, that's fine. <laughs> so the next scheduled one is Tuesday, and you'll see two different screens because we're in two different locations. Mm. Um, I shall be back here in my little room. Yeah. The way, and you will be in your bedroom at home. Yeah, I'll be at my parents. parents. They don't actually have broadband. So this is oh. going to be really interesting. So okay. I'm going to be on mobile. Um, but as it's a three, four-story house, I'll be right at the top. Um, it should be fine. I should get a really good signal from up there anyway. So um, if if there's any problems, that's fine. Robert can talk for England without me. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll we'll do our best. So it's trial and error with these things. So hopefully you've got a bit of knitting done. You've been inspired by some um, 
colours and you've also met some new friends through the chat as well so i know we've got some new people joining us every day so that's lovely and uh let's carry on with what is the best pastime in the world Definitely. online so uh thank you for um joining bye, bye.